Edward, the Black Prince of Wales, was a leading warrior in medieval England and King Edward III's eldest son. His military prowess and leadership were crucial during the Hundred Years' War. His moniker, Black Prince, is traditionally ascribed to the distinctive black armor he wore in battle. Edward, as the first heir to the English throne to receive the title of Prince of Wales, set a precedent for future heirs to the British crown. Edward's childhood and youth were molded by the changing circumstances of his position as heir to the English throne and the political and military turmoil of his time. Edward was born on June 15, 1330, at Woodstock Palace, Oxfordshire. He was the eldest son of King Edward III of England and Queen Philippa of Hainaut. When he was just 13 years old, Edward was crowned Prince of Wales in 1343. This was a landmark moment, cementing his position as heir apparent to the English throne. Being the youngest heir to English royalty, Edward was given an education suited to his position. He was taught the arts, literature, and sciences, as well as military and leadership skills. While Edward was growing up, the famous Hundred Years' War was underway, a protracted clash between England and France from 1337 to 1453. Edward was introduced to the realities of war even in his youth. At 16, he was participating actively in military campaigns, among them the famous 1346 Battle of Creasy, where he showed remarkable bravery and tactical expertise. King Edward III positioned his army in three divisions on a hillside. The Black Prince was assigned command of the Central Division, a substantial responsibility for a young man of his age. The Black Prince's division encountered heavy pressure from the French cavalry during the battle. Yet, due to the soldiers' discipline and the effectiveness of the English archers, they managed to ward off the attacks. As the battle reached its most crucial moment, when the odds were stacked against the Black Prince, Edward III, his father, was urged to send reinforcements to save the prince. The king refused, however, hoping that his son would gain experience in battle and prove his worth. Although outnumbered, Prince Edward survived, and in the end, the English won the battle. The Black Prince's leadership role as a commander and warrior established his reputation as a worthy military leader. Following the victory at the 1346 Battle of Creasy, King Edward III of England directed his efforts towards Calais, an important French port city and fortress on the English Channel. Capturing Calais would be a key strategic move, as it would provide England with a foothold on the continent and an entry point for future campaigns in France. The Siege of Calais ran from September 1346 to August 1347, and Edward, the Black Prince, had a fundamental hand to play during the siege. To avoid a direct storming, which would have caused heavy casualties for the English, Edward III chose a prolonged siege, expecting the city to surrender due to hunger and shortages. The Black Prince and other commanders took part in the daily operations of the siege, guaranteeing that no aid reached the besieged city. Once Calais surrendered, the city continued under English control for more than two centuries, until 1558. The Battle of Winchelsea was a naval engagement on August 29, 1350, between an English fleet commanded by King Edward III and a Castilian fleet. This was one of many maritime scuffles between England and Spain during the Hundred Years' War. Edward, the Black Prince, joined his father on the naval expedition. The English fleet, consisting of around 50 ships, set sail from Sandwich to cut off the Castilians. The English faced a 40-ship Castilian fleet in the battle. The Castilians were renowned for their naval warfare abilities, as their ships were taller and better fortified. Nonetheless, the English resorted to audacious tactics, boarding the Castilian ships and engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The battle ultimately ended in a decisive triumph for the English. They took several Castilian ships and sank many others. The Battle of Winchelsea proved the English Navy's resolve and ability to protect its trade routes and coastlines. 
It also provided an opportunity for the Black Prince to prove his bravery and military abilities in a naval context, rather than on the land battlefield. About a decade after the Battle of Crecy, the Battle of Poitiers took place on September 19, 1356. The Black Prince headed an army across southwest France, plundering and seizing territory. The drive climaxed with the battle near Poitiers, where the English were up against a significantly larger French army led by King John II of France. Coming at a crucial point in the battle, when the French were running amok, the Black Prince took the daring decision to mount a counterattack. This caught the French off guard and sparked the collapse of their army. Among the most notable consequences of the battle was the capture of King John II of France. A monarch caught in battle was a rare occurrence and gave the British a great political and ransom edge. Edward the Black Prince's marriage is especially remarkable in medieval history due to his union with Joan of Kent, otherwise known as the Fair Maiden of Kent. Joan came from a noble lineage, being the Black Prince's cousin and known for her outstanding beauty. The marriage was apparently a union of love and mutual respect, something rather unusual for the noble marriages of the time, which were often agreed for political or territorial reasons. Following remarkable military successes, especially at the battles of Crecy and Poitiers, he was appointed by his father as Prince of Aquitaine and Gascony in 1362. The Black Prince's presence and actions in Aquitaine were a crucial part of the Hundred Years' War and his military and administrative career. Aquitaine was a sprawling region in southwest France and was a point of contention between the English and French for generations. The Black Prince's rule was not always smooth. He encountered resistance from some segments of the local nobility, who were loyal to the French crown or resented English authority. The Aquitaine noblemen, upset by the high taxation, took their complaints to Charles V, King of France. Taking this as an excuse and alleging that the Black Prince had not fulfilled his feudal obligations, Charles V announced that the English territories in France would be seized. This rekindled the armed conflict between France and England. Edward's constant military campaigns, politics, and illness severely affected his health. He returned to England in 1371, resigning his position in Aquitaine. Edward the Black Prince died on June 8, 1376, aged 45. Edward's passing marked the end of an era for medieval England. He was a highly charismatic figure and a gifted military leader, whose deeds and actions had a lasting impact on the history of England and Europe.